over the last hundred years, people's preferences have changed, our demographics have changed, the way houses are built has changed, even the weather has changed. And yet the insurance industry hasn't adapted. I've been doing financial technology for more than a decade. And I looked at insurance and I saw that a lot of the progress that had come to other areas of finance, like banking, payments, stock trading, it hadn't made it to insurance yet. Your average insurance company is 100 years old at this point. It doesn't make any sense to go and buy a virtual product like insurance from a physical store. And it makes even less sense that those physical stores are these weird independent contractors. They're very unsophisticated, not using any technology at all. 72% of customers prefer a digital experience for buying their insurance because that's how they buy everything else. And it's also because it's cheaper. All of those agents in those stores cost a lot of money. It actually raises the price of insurance uh, by 15% on average. It's not necessary and it's not something that customers want. There's more data now than there's ever been before. The world is awash in data, yet legacy insurance companies really don't take advantage of it. They actually rely a lot on asking the user or the broker. They'll ask you literally how good a shape your roof is in. The legacy insurance model is that customers buy the product from a broker who's often repping many insurance companies. The insurance agents often aren't thinking with the customer's best interest in mind. They'll actually switch the customer to whichever company is paying them the most. So the thing that differentiates Kin from other insurance companies is that we're built on modern technology and we're built for the way that the world is right now. Before I got into startups, I wrote a framework called Spring Batch, used by a lot of banks, large institutions to, to process large amounts of data for underwriting and other decisions. Having been in fintech for a really long time, you know, noticed a pattern over and over again where there's a broker or something in between and a lot of manual underwriting. What you see from that is if you have a lot of data, you're able to automate that underwriting and give a much better customer experience throughout the entire process. The auto industry, you only need maybe three points of data, your driving record, maybe your credit score. But when you look at a home, they're basically bespoke. Everyone is different. So you need a lot of data points. You need to know how old is the roof? How old is the home? What's the roof constructed out of? Do I have a fence? Do I have a pool? What are the things going on to be able to rate accurately? We actually have data on every home and every market that we're in already before a customer comes to our site, pulling from dozens of different data sources. And what's important about that is no individual one is actually accurate. We have to look at them and create complex models. Before joining Kin, I was general counsel for almost a decade at a carrier that when I joined started in just a few states and we were able to grow countrywide and ultimately be acquired by a tremendous national carrier. So the insurance industry has been historically very slow to move and not been viewed as incredibly innovative. My last company was frankly much more innovative than most and somehow here at Kin, we've been able to find even more gears in that machine. We have our own technology. We've built it all in-house. We don't have to rely on external vendors. We are able to move very quickly on key things like automated underwriting rules. And if we need to make a change, we can do it instantly. We use our technology to make ourselves even more and more efficient. And as we do that, we're able to pass those savings along to our customers. I'm Matt Higgins. I'm chairman and CEO of Omni Channel Acquisition Core. The vision of Omni is to identify an incredible company that is disrupting an industry that is ripe for change and go ahead and figure out how to help that company overcome whatever challenges they may have. What's amazing about what Kin has done is really hard to build a direct-to-consumer insurance company. They have put in five years worth of work to build this incredible, elegant interface and back-end system that enables them to analyze all these different variables. Having an inside view into what that takes, I have no doubt it's gonna be really hard for others to catch up. The numbers are amazing. Uh, their customer acquisition cost, where it is, the lifetime value of their customer, and the reason why is because they build a great product, right? Nothing else matters. I've been here for just over three years. My background is mostly in FinTech and other technology companies. Kin is winning across three dimensions. The first is fast growth. We're growing at over 200% a year. The second is best in class unit economics. Our CAC to LTV ratio is over 6X. The third is loyal customers. We have a 92% retention rate. Our carrier is actually owned by our customers, which means that Kin, as a corporate entity, just manages a large risk pool. From a financial perspective, that makes our earnings extremely stable. We just take a fee across the entire pool. From a customer perspective, it actually benefits the customer in that we don't make extra money by skimping on paying on claims or managing the carrier in any way that increases profits. 
our goal is actually to grow the pie. So the more we grow the pie, the more our customers benefit and the more Kin benefits. I'm Bobby Brown, founder of Jones Road Beauty. I always say that I did not invent makeup, but I reinvented it. And I think it's exactly what Kin is doing in the insurance market. I also really believe in the direct to consumer model. You get to reach more people, you get to own the messaging, and you get to really provide cost savings to the consumer. Kin's NPS score is 85, which is double the rest of the industry. There is a big market for this, and I think they have everything at their fingertips to make sure that this gets done. You know, when I look at Kin, it hits on everything that I think has been working over the last 25 years of masterful macro consumer disruption. Big data is great, but knowing what to do with it and making it practical to the consumer and making it incredibly easy for the consumer to get to that data, well, that's, that's how we've seen the biggest companies in the world get built over the last 15 years. Last year, we got hit by five hurricanes in the United States. So that's more than we've ever been hit by before. The thing about the increase in extreme weather that we're having is it's not just in Florida. One of the worst disasters we had last year actually happened in Iowa. The last four years have been historic wildfire years in all of the American West. Many insurance companies aren't equipped to succeed in these catastrophe zones, where the weather is more extreme and where insurance is a much more important part of people's daily lives. These are states where our data and technological expertise give us an even bigger advantage. You can actually model and simulate hundreds of thousands of hurricanes and how it impacts our book of business and how it would impact our customers. We're able to plan how we would handle claims, we're able to handle how we would rate, how we would underwrite, and really be able to succeed in these challenging markets. We constantly monitor the weather. We know when our homeowners may be at risk. We proactively text that customer in advance. We let them know it looks like something may be approaching you. And we also give them information on how they can prepare. As soon as the storm or whatever event passes, we reach out, we do a wellness check on every single customer who may have been impacted. We wanna know, are they okay? Do they need help? We wanna make sure we get them the resources they need as fast as possible. We built an insurance company that, that can respond really fast to change. And we can do that because we're high tech and because we're using a lot of data that's never been used in the industry before. And that allows us to provide insurance in places where other companies can, which is really important because you can't actually live there unless you're able to get insurance. We've been very deliberate in focusing on a smaller number of larger, more valuable states and really getting those states right, rather than just blazing our way into every geography. We think we're off to a really good start because the states that we're in are some of the hardest states with the most difficult weather. What we're gonna be doing over the next year is expanding into more and more states. We spent years building a platform that enabled us to grow this fast and will enable us to grow even faster down the road as we continue to expand on this platform that is best in class. This is a regulated industry and you really need to go from all the way to the bottom up. And you can't take shortcuts to just acquire customers faster or take the cheap way out. You've got to build the engine and we've spent the time doing that over the last four or five years. You look at a bank, you look at an insurance company, a stock trading company, whatever. These are all actually software companies, but they're not really very good at software. And so we saw an opportunity to do things completely differently. We built everything from scratch the way that it should be in modern tech. And you can see the customers really, really like it. It's because we're doing it the right way with the right technology. To be clear, I, I built everything from scratch. <laughs>